I'm Benjamin Brown. Pray these videos encouraging you and strengthening you. And if they are, please share and like. But anyway, what a true pleasure and honor to get to do this. I don't get the glory he does. It's not about Benjamin. It's all about him. And most importantly, it's about you. Yeah, you're not just a person. No, you're a soul. You're someone he cherishes, someone he loves so much. That's why I carried the cross. That's why this is so important. I truly, truly, because he is deserving and worthy to be famous for what he did for us. So much grace, so much love. It's all about that grace. That's why he did it. Nothing we did to deserve it. So powerful. But anyway, we have a very powerful message. Amen. Glory to God. So today we are in Mark 4, and we are going to be in verses 38 and 39. This is when Jesus and his disciples were in a boat, and they were heading to an island. Okay? But it's very powerful. But anyway, you know, check out www.hortonbrotherscrafts.com, all lowercase. And like I said, I showed this before. This is a little battery-operated candle holder you put in there. Uh, they have all kinds of designs in that, too, uh, that you can make. It doesn't have to be butterflies, you know. But anyway, check them out. And uh, what a true pleasure and honor. I don't get the glory he does, and uh, I don't want to take it for granted, and I don't. You know, it's a true pleasure and honor to get to do this. Most importantly, it's a true pleasure and honor to get to lift up my brothers and sisters, and it's his job to open up eyes and ears. And I just know that he is doing that on these videos. He's bringing people to the truth, and he's strengthening up those who already believe. That's what it's all about, us encouraging each other. But anyway. Let's open up in prayer. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, I come to you as a young son that knows nothing. You know everything. You placed everything here. You created everything. Yes, everything, including us, Jesus. You know every hair on our head. You know every single person that's going to tune into this video. It's not about Benjamin, Lord. I already know. I believe it. I receive it. Your Holy Spirit never leaves us. It's a teacher. So it will teach your people. Let them hear from you. You are so worthy to be famous. So worthy to be seen. So important. Because you're going to crack that sky like a big old slice of apple pie. And you're going to come down here. And you are going to sit on your throne. What a day that will be. What a day of rejoicing. No more darkness, no more sickness, no more pain. Just free of peace, of love, of grace, of confidence, of joy. All the good things you bring, Jesus. Darkness, he will be put where he deserves to go for what he did and what he's doing out here today. Lies and deceit. Yes, Jesus, he will be cast to Hades. I give you all the glory and praise for carrying that cross for us. In Jesus Christ's name, come speak to your people. It's already done. These videos are strengthening your people, and you're opening up eyes and ears. That's your job. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. But anyway, it's a truly pleasure to get to do this. And we are in a powerful message, okay? So let's start in Mark 38, verse 38. Well, it's actually Mark 4, verse 38, okay? This is when Jesus and his disciples were on a boat and are heading across to go to this island, okay? So anyway, let's read. Jesus was in the stern sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him up and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Ah, uh, so powerful right there. Teacher, do you care if we drown? You know, we all live in uh, trials. We all have battles, right? And it reminds me of 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast all of your worries or anxiousness, whatever book you look at, Bible, onto me because I 
care for you. Teacher, don't you care that we're about to drown? Wow. You know, don't you care if we, if we drown? He cares about you. Whatever you have going on, come to me, he says. Seek me. Pray to me without ceasing. Come. I care for you. First Peter 5, 7. Cast all of your worries and anxiousness on to me because I care for you. And we all get up call. We all, including me, we all get stuck in that. But when we come to him, he rebuilds us. He strengthens us. When we seek him, that's what it's about. When you come to him, 1 Peter 5, 7, and you say, look, I'm struggling here. I need your help. Prayer is so powerful. And that's what the enemy does not want us to use. He doesn't want us to come to our true identity in Christ when you accept him as your Lord and Savior. And he definitely doesn't want us praying. Because when we come together, united in Christ, and we see the beauty of him, and we start praying, that disrupts, yeah, the heavenly realms and the earthly realms. And it makes his battle harder. Amen. So I'm here to encourage you, to strengthen you. Whatever storm you have going on, whatever's whatever's rocking your boat, remember, the enemy is all about the rock and the boat. But like Daniel and all of his friends, Meshach, Abednego, they got thrown in the fire. King Nebuchadnezzar, thank you. <laughs> Was like, wait a minute. Didn't we only throw three in that fire? I see a fourth one. Sorry, trying to get my hand right. I see a fourth one. Uh, hey, I boast of my mistakes, right, on this video. But anyway, I see a fourth person in there. Who in the earth is that? But they didn't get burned up. In their storm. He was with them back then in the Old Testament. In your storm, including mine right now, he is with you. I never leave you or forsake you. I sent the Holy Spirit to you to strengthen you, to encourage you, to build you, because I care for you. That's why I carried the cross, because I love you that much. I adore you. I cherish you. It's all about his grace and love. And I'm here to strengthen you today. To let you know. Whatever you have going on. Dig into him. Jeremiah 29, 13. Seek me with all your heart. And that's where I'm at. These messages are for me too. They're not just for you. That's why it's so powerful. When I bring it to you, it's the same for me. We are all his children. We all come to him. And this book is so big. The Holy Spirit's a teacher. And I'm here to say, I don't know everything now. But greater is he that's in us than the one that's in the world. And that's what he don't want you to see. When you keep praying without ceasing, keep seeking me with all your heart. We disrupt the world. That's why the enemy comes. And if you're a new Christian, he's going to come after you too. Because he doesn't want you to keep digging in. So keep seeking him with all your heart. Attach yourself to other believers. In worship and music, whatever lifts you up. When he comes and telling you that book's lies or you can't do this, you can't do that. That's all lies from him. And I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. And the reason why I'm here today 
It's all because of him. And yesterday was my day. He came after me, the enemy, trying to tear me down. But I must stay faithful, keep praying, keep seeking, keep trusting, just like you. It's what he comes to seek and destroy, to steal your faith, to steal your trust. From the one that says, I will not fail you if you come to me. Come to me and thirst no more. Come to me and hunger no more. I love you that much. I cherish you. That's why I laid my life down. That's why I carried the cross. So you have a pathway from the liar, from the devil, from the enemy. So you can come spend eternity with me and get to live through me. And once you see that, once you see the truth, your true identity in Christ, you get to, through Jesus' authority, to tell him, and they have to bow to him. The devil and his demons don't have any control over you once you see your identity and you seek him and you learn in scripture, you put the armor of God, you start fighting back. That's why in the Lord's Prayer, daily bread. We need his word daily. And wherever you're at home meets you, okay? Don't get discouraged. If you're just starting out, that's fine, okay? Just plug in. Maybe it's the Holy Bible U version just on the homepage, okay? Maybe you just start out, you know, reading a Bible verse. Maybe you start out, maybe he's talking to you more just by music, okay? Whatever that is, he will speak to you, okay? But those that have been with him for a while, yeah, that have been with him for a while, you know your scriptures. Let's join together and start praying for our pastors, everybody out here that's doing his work to disrupt the world with Jesus. That everything he corrupts, we can disrupt through prayer and come united together. That's what it's about. We are all children of God. We all belong to him. And we're believers, we're brother and sister in Christ. To encourage one another, to lift each other up, amen. And when I say he taught me how to walk a whole lot slow with his spirit, when I tell you that, it's true. He taught me how to walk a whole lot slow with his spirit and to love his people a whole lot deeper. Because that's why he carried the cross. Because he loves us so much. But anyway, you know, I was going to read further, but uh, uh, hey, when he's rolling, right? So I think we're going to stop here today. We're just going to do the one verse is very powerful. So, you know, let's let's just stop right here. OK, and uh, sometimes that's the best thing, you know, too much information overwhelming. Trust me. Been there, got that certificate. <laughs> Hot head spinning like, oh, man, that was way too much. I can't consume it all, right? Uh, but anyway, he loves you. He adores you. And, uh, you know, I, was, oh, I wasn't planning on uh, stopping there. But, hey, let's do that, okay? Remember, it's nothing too big. Nothing too great for our God. No. When the enemy comes knocking, remember who's in the boat with you. Remember who's in the boat with you. Remember, who was in the fire with Daniel and them, okay? Remember, when his word is true, he says, I'll never leave you or forsake you. It might not look like at times he's with you, and I know that because there's been many a times that, that I'm like, oh, gee, where are you at? I'm in a battle here. And uh, we need to remember that when you're in a storm, Sometimes he sends it on purpose because that's strengthening you. Because maybe you got a calling on your life. And I know now when the enemy comes, I give boast and praise for it. Because I'm realizing every time he comes in knocking and that boat comes up rocking, he is strengthening me. So whatever storm you got going on, okay, keep praying without ceasing. 
He'll never leave you or forsake you. He loves you. He adores you. And he never promised that this world, just because you accept him as your Lord and Savior, that you that nothing's going to happen, okay? But he'll give you nothing, no more than what you can handle. But just don't quit worshiping. Don't get praise. Don't quit praising. And definitely don't quit seeking. And that's where I'm at, okay? These messages are for me too. I'm being honest with you. That's what's so powerful, okay? But anyway, if that's you, you don't put in your eyes and ears and you're seeing him, pray this prayer and we're going to go deeper, okay? We're going to go deeper. But anyway, you realize you were born a sinner because we all are. And he knows that we will still fall short. It's about his grace and repenting, coming to him and ask for forgiveness. And like I said, that doesn't mean that once you accept him as your Lord and Savior, that you could just go out here and do what you want. And just, well, okay, now I'm just going to pray. No, no. Ask for help with that, okay? But anyway, we're going to go deeper. Let's pray. Dear gracious Jesus, I see every ounce of that blood you spill. I see it. What you did for me. You laid your life down. You took that beating because you loved me so much. You carried that cross. You laid your life down. You sacrificed yourself so you can make that pathway to your father. And I can accept you as my Lord and Savior. I'm giving you every single sin from the time I was born to right here. In exchange, so much grace. Thank you. Nothing I did to deserve. I'm giving you all of them sins and I'm accepting you as my Lord and Savior. You're washing me white as snow. Thank you, Jesus. Better than that, Lord, you're going to send me your Holy Spirit who's a teacher. And I want you to put a hunger and thirst in me that I just can't get enough of you. Maybe it's videos like this. Maybe it's scripture starting a book of John. Maybe it's worship and praising. Maybe it's finding a church that definitely makes sure that they believe that you died on that cross. You came in the flesh. You laid your life down and you made that pathway to your father. Amen. Whatever that may be, Jesus, thank you. I'm coming to you because I'm grateful for you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. So powerful, so beautiful. But anyway, whoever you are, either a brother or sister in Christ, welcome. Better yet, you get eternal life, the life after this life that the devil don't want you to see. When Jesus comes back and cracks that sky, oh, he's going where he deserves to go. He will go to Hades. Yes, he will. He is. And Jesus is going to come back and sit on his throne. He's going to rule. And yeah, in Matthew 25, he will separate the sheep from the goats. But if you accept him as your Lord and Savior, amen. We are sheep now. Welcome, brother and sister in Christ. Amen. But anyway, if you're already a believer in Christ, please share and like. It's so important we get these messages out. It's not about me. It's about letting the people see the truth, okay? The true beauty of the one that laid his life down. In Jesus Christ's name, so powerful. Amen. But anyway, let's close in prayer. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, what a good word today. Thank you for the gift. Thank you for the blessing of of receiving that this morning with you. Thank you. What an honor and a privilege to get to spend time with you. Thank you for the storms we have. Thank you for the storms that strengthen us to give thanks in them storms because you're strengthening us. It's not always easy. Yes, it's not always easy, Lord this life but you know that and it wasn't easy for you neither that's why you carried that cross and you prayed that prayer in the garden and when you were praying you said father please take this cup from me if there's any other way take the cup from me but nevertheless your will be done on earth as it is in heaven your will be done yes jesus You were so scared. You even sweated blood, Jesus. Because you knew the pain you had to endure. You knew. You knew you had to set your eyes like flint to that cross for us. To lay your life down so we can come to you and accept you as our Lord and Savior. So much grace and love. Thank you. 
You're worthy of the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for opening up eyes and ears. And these videos are disrupting the world. And they're showing people the truth. And you're showing people that he's got to let go of them. So they come to the truth that you made them. You made everything here and he's a liar. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. So powerful. He gets all the glory and praise. But anyway, remember Joshua 1, okay? Be strong. Whatever you have going on, whatever storm that is, he will not fail you. His word is good. Check out, uh, if you have the NIV Bible, check out Luke 1, verse 37. Yeah. Luke 1, verse 37. Yeah. Check that out. I, I love it. Um. I, I like the I like NIV better of that version. Okay, uh, the, 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 I have a new King James too, but I just love Luke one, verse thirty seven. So before we go, I'm actually going to read it to you. Okay, for no word from God will ever fail. He will not fail you. Okay, I know that because he hasn't failed me. The man you see on the other side of this camera, four years, six months. Okay, trust me, he's got you. When that rock, boats are rocking, remember who you need to come to. Remember who we need to praise. And I'm telling you, these messages are for me, okay? Stay strong. Stay strong. He loves you. He adores you. Anyway, stay strong. It's a pleasure and honor. He loves you. I love you. Amen.